On today's episode of Draw Every Day, we are continuing with hashtag pump kindness, and today I'm teaching you how to make a baby pumpkin. Oh. Draw Every Day with JJK. Hey everyone, uh, I hope that you continue to have fun or you're gearing up to have a blast painting pumpkins. Uh, I am seeing people out there uh, covertly hiding their pumpkins on friends' porches and, or even the porches of strangers. And I just, I love the thought of somebody waking up and maybe they're a little grumpy because it's the morning, uh, maybe they're a little bit grumpy because it's 2020, and they see this like shiny little pumpkin face on their front porch. So today we're go I'm going to teach you how to make a baby pumpkin. And you don't need a pumpkin that's really small. To, I'm gonna, this is also gonna be a bit of a lesson on character design. Because if you wanna make a character look very young, and especially if you want to make it look like a baby, you wanna give the character really big eyes. When I begin, I consider the pumpkin I consider any imperfections that I might want to use. Uh, I consider the stem. Now we have this nice little imperfection here. Uh, perhaps we could use that and make that look like a pacifier. I mean, it's there, we might as well use it for something. So I'm going to grab my burnt sienna and my orange and map out where the eyes go. Again, this is like painting the sockets that the eyeballs will go into. And I want them to be very big. Now to paint the white of the eyes. So if, if this marking here is going to be the pacifier, I'd still like to give a bit of a smile creeping up on either side of that mark. Let me create a little shadow underneath the mark to give the illusion that it's protruding in space. So I'm going to create a darker version of that orange. So as if it's casting a shadow right on the pumpkin skin. Again, if there's going to be a shadow, there should also be a highlight. So I'll create a lighter version of that orange to place here. I'm going to add a few eyelashes to make that little pumpkin baby extra cute. So just a little bit of a dark brown paint and I'm just going to do the a flick of my wrist like so. Now we need pupils and I'm going to make these pupils extra large to make this baby extra cute. If I gave this baby small pupils it would probably look like a frightened character but I want to make this look like an endearing, cute baby. And I'll place one pupil here. So once this is dry, I'm going to take uh, get some white paint on a small brush. And I'm going to create little highlights on the pupil. Also add another layer of white to create more dimension. And this gives the illusion of this flat surface actually being a sphere. And there doesn't seem to be a good clear delineation between the top of the binky and the skin of the pumpkin. So see how this sort of, sort of meshing together? So all I have to do is get some dark paint on my brush, just a little bit, just the tiniest bit, with a thin, thin brush.
Now, my favorite part, breathing life into the character with some dry brushing. So again, what dry brushing is, you just get a tiny bit of paint on the tip of your brush and you dry it out and you just apply it like so. It's a bit here, a bit here. Again, I'm using non-toxic paint. So that's why I, I'm able to touch this paint. I hope that you all are using non-toxic paint as well. And there we have a baby pumpkin. You know what? I can think of you know one more thing this needs. Hold up, I'll be right back. Of course, a baby needs a diaper, right? All right, so let's let's change the baby. Get the diaper. Put the ba baby diaper down. Okay, it's gonna be okay. Gently place the baby don't want to cover the baby's face there we go now that is a pumpkin baby all right let's take a moment check in with those pugs it's time for pug I'm so glad to see, Frank, that you are getting into the Halloween spirit by getting your costumes on. Uh, I, I have been so impressed and uh, excited to see the way people are celebrating hashtag pump kindness. Uh, here are some pictures that I have seen so far. Uh, keep spreading joy through your creativity. We'll see you soon. Please click like and subscribe and keep drawing. See you soon.